Hey guys, Barry Love for you and we're back and we'll play To The Moon in the last episode. We got here to Johnny's childhood and he just, and well, he just, he just kind of realized like all that time ago what he was talking about when he first met, well, when he first thought about going out with Riven. It was for his own greedy, not, I don't even know what's greedy, just selfish needs, yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, he just wants to be different and he wants to use Riven to be different because she's different, but... I guess that's not good at all. But, this bag will also be a, what's it called? <laughs> Should I even? No need, I'm all good now. Is he though? Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame! Hey! Ah, not cool. Oh, I want, I want him to do it, man. You left it. You never cockblock someone in the middle of a Kamehameha? Never. What? Ugh, cock block. Ugh, why would you do that? So you can't cockblock them in the middle of a Kamehameha. Not even in the show they do that. Anyways. Time to delve a little deeper. This is a big one. It's gonna take six moves. Jeez. So we've seen this backpack before, but I guess it's probably a lot newer looking than it was back then. Looks good. It's a rucksack. Now let's go deeper. Well, I guess we're heading into his younger childhood where he started getting these thoughts from, I guess. Yeah, he's getting pretty young now. He's gonna be a little, little toddler soon. Well, not, I don't even know if toddler mode, it's just like kid mode. He's pretty young here. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. How do you still call him Joey? My baby boy. Growing up so fast. Hmm. Why? Joey. It's weird that she keeps calling him that. Kind of an odd nickname, you think. Ack, what if he was a girl? Would he still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it's a nice... <laughs> it ends in E, or... Yeah, it will be E. Joe E, Joe E, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? <laughs> ah, jealous? Oh, yes. So jealous. Oh, let's see if we can find around here. Hello, Ma. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, bleh. Not again. Pickled cucumbers. Holy crap! My mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Oh, apparently it was cucumbers back in the day. Well, don't pickled cucumbers just turn into pickles? Pretty sure that's what happens. I don't know, but... Smudge titles. Mm. Ooh, a diary. Is this what I think it is? Is it time to learn? Nope. Is this a bed? Pretty crappy bed if you ask me, but you know, pillows or blankets on it. All right, I don't know. Is this nothing? Is this significant? Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. I guess so. Uh, bunk bed. I had a bunk bed when I was a kid. Shit was so cash. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> what is this? Uh, I need one more thing. Uh, maybe we have to go outside for it. No, I don't think we're allowed out right now. That, I want to talk to that sucker ball though. Hey, the clock stopped. Why'd the clock stop? An actual ticking clock. It's not ticking anymore. Hmm. We must be missing something here. Missing something. Maybe it is this thing. Okay, now, <laughs> this is where the want knowing begins. What, what am I missing? Is it you? No. Someone probably like notices when, I'm, when I haven't checked in. They're like, check that, you idiot. What, really? The couch? Sure. Well, I, even I didn't think that was what it was, but. All right, suck a ball, bust it down. Using the, <laughs> the Kamea, the HUD, 
I, the Hadouk command to smash? I don't even know how to combine those three. Whatever. Let's let's go deeper into the ball. That was a weird sentence. Okay, oh let's so scrambled. Ooh, that was a cool pattern. Getting it done. And they keep a counter still for no reason. Sweet. Soccer ball. Alright. Maybe the soccer player. Wait a minute. What the hell are those watts? Unless he's like underneath us. Uh oh. Where are we? Oh god. We're in a purgatory. Ack! Sort of like roadkill again. Where are we? Ever? Whoa. What the hell is that? Whoa. That doesn't look good. What the hell? It's like, an, it's like a game without like missing its like textures. And then, I don't know, something's going on here. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Hmm. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Hmm, so we seem to have hit a wall, or a huge black abyss, actually. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Hmm. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Alright, so there's, I don't know, some kind of gap. You can't go any further back, apparently. So, what a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. So was I. Weren't we all? But... I guess now it's time to get back to the job at hand. Finding a way to get him to the moon. We're gonna have to use what we got. And that was the <laughs> act one. Here we are at act two. Boom the lighthouse is stuck at the far end of the sky. And don't let that surprise don't let that surprise you. We're actually pretty far along in the game now. There's all of them thinking like, oh my god, we just finished act one, but no, that's we're actually pretty far along in the game right now. Now pieces are going to start getting put into place. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need to concentrate. Oh, they need the concentration. They're still just sitting in this room. Looks like he's a pillow on his face. He's just like suffocating the old man. I'll leave him alone. Hmm. So we're back at the very first memory we, we jumped to. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hi. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. Hmm. Man, I have a question. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work. It's just your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. You have to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. Hmm. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, 
The machine will generate your new life. One where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would be written to the wheel, John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could have set you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why do you even care to explain? To us people playing the game. I'm just trying to save time. So basically what he said there was, um, they, they can't just send him to the moon with his, like, right at the very end, just all of a sudden he appears on the moon. They have to relate, like, his entire life to make it, so there's, uh, in his mind, like, from the very point, like, when he was young, he just grew up to be an astronaut and went to the moon. That's how they have to do it. So that's why they have to go back through all of the places and just see what's going on to find ways to change things. So that's that's what the whole objective is. That was Act One, basically going back, learning about him. Let's go. Now we have to figure out what the change. So this is where that's where this part of the game comes in. Doctor, is that what I truly am? Hmm. hmm. Who knows? <coughs> Whoa. The hell? Ah, all of our nights nice work. This kind of looks like a kid's game. So these are all the mementos from each of the eras of his life. Hmm. That platypus appeared many times. And there's where we got stuck. <laughs> what the hell? What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask that the pun, but I'm afraid you say yes. <laughs> Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All you need to do is pass the desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Alright, so it's the little tadpoles. All right, so what we got here? Line up two matching mementos on the edge. Edge of the chance of the registered desire. Okay, so this... Okay, this kind of confused me at first. So what we have to do... We have to get, like, the latest one. Like, we have to somehow connect all of these together, so... It's not as easy, not as, easy as it looks, but I guess we have to... Hmm... We'll start... So we can hold like that. No paper though. Hmm, we need that rabbit. Let the rabbits have. Um. Oh, other way. So this will be a while to figure out. I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just dumb. I can't figure this out. It's like it just doesn't totally. Oh like, no, yeah. So this will be a while to figure out when I first played this game. Um. Oh, what the hell? The only thing on this one is the book. Hey, anyway, check this out. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. I think the slow way could be go like this. Wait. Okay, so we have to rotate it around. I think this it could still work. No, I can't. Well, what the hell, man? Wait, <laughs> I still don't understand this puzzle fully. I did it once and it took me a while, so let's, let's try to figure this out. Let's, let's break this down. Okay, we're missing. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, I see. Okay, so clock can go down there. Here we go. There we go. Whoa. I, I think I've done it. Why did that work? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, uh, somehow it worked. Don't ask me how. Ding. That's all about all the ones we can work with. Oh, there wasn't a complete way to do it. That's why I was overthinking it. Okay, I've only done this once before. Let me remind you that. That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. All right, here we go. Time to alter things.
Alright, let's go check out what souvenir is he brought back from the moon. Ladies first? Not this time, hon. <laughs> Alright, so everything he should be an astronaut by now. That's what should be happening. Whoa. Hmm. She looks old. Hmm. Still looks like the same place. This is the same 10 years real, last accessible memory. Usually, there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They're exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. So... We tried to alter things, but we put the intention of him wanting to become an astronaut. He bit the cliff of looking lit us. Then maybe... Everything we seen maybe wasn't really affecting it. Like, we couldn't use what was happening to change anything. Because everything would have happened the same way regardless. So at this point in the game, you can get kind of lost if you don't like pay attention. I'll try to explain things just so they don't get so. You, and if anyone starts getting lost, so I'll try to explain things as best they can. Johnny, what a pleasant surprise! We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Doctor Ever Roslin, and this is what I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you due from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. This is the exact same thing. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Hmm. Freeze him too. But why? Well... Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Hmm. It transfers successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Mm, let's, let's get going, I guess. We're, it's not working. We can't get him to the moon. Hmm. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then... Aha! Moon travel. That'll get him to go to the moon. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Will this make him want to become an astronaut and go to the moon? Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Ah, uh, damn it, Watts. Maybe maybe he's inside watching the movie, actually. Let's, let's go check it out. Hmm. To the moon, darling. Ooh, Henry. Dear lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. <laughs> Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Apparently the movie sucks. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Here we are, back. It's the same thing. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Alright. Hmm. Out of the way. L Lily? 
I will try it against someone else. What about at school? Perhaps something here could work. Hmm, this is when he was asking to go on a date. So did she throw an, an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's get a good spot. Huh? We didn't change anything yet. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Nothing must have changed. What changed? Hmm. Hey, don't squeeze. Something's good. Something good happened in here. This definitely didn't happen the first time around. <laughs> Did that movie really alter everything this much? Somehow. <coughs> wait, wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Oh, no. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! That was terrible. Wow, that was, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as uh, adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise to the rings of Saturn. Or, perhaps, just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you! Or you! Or, perhaps... You! I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? Nope. Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? <laughs> Stay off. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I should go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike on the moon... Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. <laughs> and last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying so hard. Just plugging the moon so hard. But did it work? <laughs> the valley definite. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you. I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm. I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna see if that are you gonna see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Hmm. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there's still things to be done. Such as? Well... Hmm. Must figure this out. We can't afford to finish the building. This house is a bell. We've seen this. We can barely afford to pay for a treat. But you can afford the Lunar Trip Lottery! If you sell this house, you sure can! Oh, now that it's shocked too hard. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we will have any. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? 
It's true for both you and your spouse. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Free pony rides in space. <laughs> oh look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon. <laughs> it just went off and just started enforcing everything. Uh, did it work? <laughs> River? It doesn't seem like it did. <laughs> the dang nabbit, glass, slippery. Johnny, John, John. <sighs> what the cucumber? Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. The freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the, the job to run out yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? <laughs> Look, maybe there's lack of sleep getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this isn't just going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Okay, so they're throwing in the towel for now. Time to sleep. Gonna sleep on the park bench outside. <coughs> it doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless the secondary condition for desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that it would have played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? Wait, wait. What exactly did you do? Hmm. Ah, the sun's rising. Slept out here all night. Pondering. Hmm. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. I guess we'll go figure out if Dr. Watts figured anything out. Wait, not, no. Next time, because I don't want to continue more, because uh, the video's going pretty long. I don't want to add another cutscene to set up, so. Yeah, so we're getting pretty deep into it right now. It's, it's Neil and, well, yeah, Wa I keep calling them by different names. Watson, those are the They can't figure this one out. But there's also that, there's those early memories that they couldn't access, so maybe the answer lies there. But, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time for more To The Moon. Later, guys.